welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all arts and culture events coming from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and the Middle East. First up, let's see what's up in the UK. Sharuk Amin's exhibition, Will Build This City on Art and Love, is on at the IM Gallery in the lovely Mayfair in central London. The Syrian Kuwaiti artist is recognized for her cutting edge approach to painting, which combines diverse media in the creation of bold portraits. A prominent figure of the contemporary Kuwaiti art scene, in this latest body of work, she explores a wide range of social maladies, from child marriage in war affected areas to the marginalization of migrants in the Gulf and the moral and material ramifications of stall construction projects such as Silk City, which initially promised the revitalization of Kuwait's infrastructure. We'll build the city on art and love is on now and until Saturday the 10th of January. For more information go to imgallery.com. The lovely cultural machine that provides us with limitless entertainment that is the Arts Canteen present us Atap Haddad Quintet at the Rich Mix in East London. With his top flight ensemble, Oud Virtuoso Atap Haddad blends Andalusian, Mediterranean and Middle Eastern sounds with contemporary jazz. Born in the UK to Iraqi parents, he has performed both at places like the BBC and the whole world, founding his quintet in 2008. Mix down in East London will show us again the funny bones of Arabs in their jokingly named comedy shows Arabs Are Not Funny. The night will be hosted by Tunisian comedian Maureen Mrahi. And two of the headlines who will bring us their best punchlines are Welsh Egyptian Omar Hamdi and Somali British born stand up and actor Prince Abdi. The show will hit with Rich Mix on Saturday, 17th of January, and for tickets and information, go to richmix.org.uk. Here's a little bit of what you might expect. I spent a month in New York. I wanted to see what the New York comedy scene was like, so I was there for a while. Um, the problem started when I got to New York because it was my first time. Um, I was in a queue at immigration, and like there's loads of people there like queuing, and the officer was looking at me out of everyone, just staring at me. <laughs> So I got nervous, because you know, like, they, they carry guns over there, you know, they, they're allowed to shoot you, so I got very nervous. And, and when I get nervous, my eyes go from side to side. <laughs> so I'm in a queue. So I'm in a queue for the first time in J at JFK Airport, like, in New York, like this. <laughs> so he calls me over, he's like, sir, can you come with me, please? I'm like, what did I do? He's like, sir, now. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, but what did I do? Then he goes, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Took me into a room, took my passport, started looking through my passport. Then he gave the passport back. Then he goes, have you uh, ever been to Afghanistan? <laughs> I'm thinking, it's just a trick question. I was like, no, sir. He's like, how about Pakistan? I'm like, no, why are you asking me this? He's like, and why not? <laughs> um, because they're not holiday destinations. <laughs> yeah. Now let's take a look at what's on in the Middle East. Christmas celebrations have started in the Middle East. First up, we are taking you to Lebanon, where the Christmas exhibition Gingerbread Artist is taking place at the EXO. Supporting local artists and businesses, Gingerbread Artists will feature local artists and artisans, showcasing paintings, photos, artworks, jewelry, and more. The aim is to mark the beginning of a series of events to initiate being loyal to local and start a trend of shopping, eating, enjoying, and spending locally. The exhibition events take place every Saturday from this week and until Saturday, January 17th. For more information, click on to ekeepexode.com. In Jordan, the Christmas celebration for kids will be kicking off at the Children's Museum. 
Children will start their journey by grabbing their activity bag and exploring fun-packed Christmas activity stations. They will also help the museum team search for the four cheeky companions, Gaif, Zaya, Baloy, and Bara, who have been hiding around the museum. Along with musical performances, this promises to be a great amount of fun for kids and maybe some adults alike. The celebrations take place on Friday 19th of December from 4 p.m. And for more information, go to cmj.jo. Now let's take a look at the recommended arabesque of the week. On series 2 and episode 24, we got to be a part of the Safar Film Festival of Popular Arab Cinema. The jam-packed festival featured films from all genres and gave us talks, seminars, premieres and more during the Magical Film Week in London. Check out the episode where we interviewed some of the famous actors and directors for the festival, along with introducing you to some of the best cinema the Arab world offers on Levant.tv slash Arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and the Middle East. Till then, take good care.